I got a baby and the loudest dryer buzzer on the planet. This has to change. But also, I don't want wrinkled shirts. I'm gonna use a relay and a Z-Wave door sensor to get push notifications when the dryer's done. Uh, standard warning when working with electricity. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, this could kill you and it would hurt really badly the entire time you're dying. All right, so I grabbed a schematic out of the back of it. Uh, sort of starting from the top, we've got the line one, line two, and the neutral coming into it. The part that I'm looking to replace is this end of cycle signal. That's the buzzer that annoys the crap out of me. And it looks like coming in from the leg one, uh, when the control timer has this energized, the start switch going around that way, keeping her running, disconnecting the start coil, keeping that one running, it will come back and bring power to the, the hot side of the, uh, the buzzer. That's going to be the red wire. And then it looks like from the neutral coming on down, it has to go through the control timer. And it's only when the timer signal uh, is connected to neutral that the buzzer is going to complete that circuit and make all that racket. So what I'm going to do is replace this buzzer with a relay using the red for the hot side and black for the neutral. All right, the manual for this guy is a sticker on top of it there. And so this is gonna be the input side. And it looks like the white and yellow uh, is gonna be the, the common or the neutral connection. Um, looks like white and blue is going to be the low voltage uh, input. We're not gonna use that. It says to connect only once. We're gonna leave that one capped and hanging. And then the one that we want to use here is the white and black. That's a 120 volt hot input. So we'll connect that to the red wire and the white and yellow to the black wire. All right, next I've got a Z-Wave door and window sensor. Pull this guy on out. Pull out the manual. All right, got the manual out here. Uh, it looks like the important bits are the screw terminals inside of there for the external contact and normally closed switch. That's the parts we need to know. All right, it looks like just putting the battery in is enough to get this to include to the network. Pull that cover off. Let's see, it's a battery. All right, we do uh, add node. Oh, I'm going to assume that worked. All right, so it looks like it did work. And if I bring the magnet in close to it, that lights up. Sensor shows that it does whatever. Bring that away. Sensor shows that it does whatever. Cool. All right, so just a real quick test to show what it does in the, the UI. Switch is currently in the closed state. So if I open it, the alarm level goes to 255. Close it again back to zero. All right, so back to the uh, manual sticker on the top of this relay. What we need is a normally closed connection, and that's going to be blue, and yellow is a common. So we're going to leave the orange wire unhooked and uh, connect both the blue and the yellow to the terminals inside the Z-Wave door sensor. I'm gonna drill a couple holes to get the wires and to connect to these terminals. All right, so we've got a pretty big hole there to get the wires into. All right, so I've uh, trimmed these wires up just a little bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, slide them on into the screw terminals. So one big quirk to using these Z-Wave door and window sensors as a, just a contact sensor is that if you do not have the magnet uh, engaged, uh, like a door closed, it will constantly read in the open state. And so since we're not going to use this as a door sensor, I'm just going to stick the magnet right to the side. That way we're only ever reading the um, contact set. All right, last thing I want to do is uh, crimp a couple of these spade connectors on and go stick it in.
white and black. All right, so to get a better look in here, got the relay taped to the back of the control panel. Um, it's connected through where the buzzer would be into the 110 volt input. The normally closed contact is running off into the door sensor, which I have stuck to the inside over here where it's plastic so the radio signals can get out. Now I'm just going to put the cover back on and give it a test. Here it is in action. Oh, there's the buzzer. What are you doing in there? Um, nothing. <laughs>